So over here you can see that I got a bunch of objects over here and if I were to go around and then click and drag this around on the side, you can see that these lines right here, the guidelines actually pop up. So if I were to go around and click and let's say for example drag this, so if I were to click and drag this, you can see that I can drag this down and you can see that they align together. So let me just go around and then create out a new page right here. So I'm going to go around onto page and click on new page right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a rectangle just like this as you can see. So let me just go around and duplicate this and if I were to go around and you can see if I were to align this you can go around onto the top and it snaps right there so that it is in the center. You also see over, around over here so when it snaps right here by sewing out the line you know that it is at the um, exact center. Similarly you can go around over here and you can see that this line is the reference now. Go on to the top and this line is the reference as you can see right here. So this makes it very, very easy to align things. So let's say, for example, if I were to duplicate, I can go around, snap this to the top right here and duplicate. Then what I can do in, is snap this right here. So over here, you can see two lines, which means that it is aligned with both this and this object right here. So that is what you have right here. So that is because the um, snap to with smart guide system on. If I were to go around onto view, snap to with smart guide system on. So now you can see that this is what you have. But if I were to go around and go to snap to with grids right here. So if I were to go to snap to grids, then you won't see that anymore, but you can see that you can see the grid right here, it snaps to the grid right there. So you can see that there's the grid, there's the grid right here. So it snaps according to the grid and not according to uh, the guides right here. But that is also helpful uh, to align out objects as you can see right here. It snaps on with the exact guides right here and you can snap it onto places just like that as you can see, just like this. So if I, if I were to go to guide, you can see that you can be more free with where you can keep the objects right here. But if you want to snap it to a particular place itself, you can go around onto grid and snap it uh, right here to the grid just like that. So that is how you can snap to grid or smart guides inside of uh, Google Data Studio. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.